Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and let us have some good time together. Uh, today, our topic, actually, is a very continue of previous topic, which is very important. And we will show you how we can prove easy that Islam, because it is a theft, uh, it is not legitimate belief. Have you ever heard of somebody, he teach somebody, but he himself who teach it, do not know it? This is exactly what Islam is. A Muhammadan, he made the post uh, in the comment section. And this guy always, he come with those posts, which is very nice, actually. I like them, uh, for they give us a reason for comedy and to love. <clears throat> in the front of us here, we see a person, he called himself Rocky. Uh, Rocky, he want to teach a Christian prince and all the Christians what they don't understand. So let us see what he said. We go from the first post he made. He said, speaking about the word Ruh, which is the Muslim translate as a spirit. He said Ruh means wind in Hebrew and Arabic. And, you know, the funny he speak, like he said, Christian Prince, you don't discuss like, uh, you know, I mean, you don't even have the level of discussion. And he, he called me Christian Princes. I mean, do you see the level of discussion? <laughs> so he start with insult, and then they get upset when I insult them, but in the perfect way, you know, to insult their stupidity. So a Christian prince says, uh, believe his God is eternal wind. Mm, his God is eternal movement. Ah, so now we understand what Islam think of Ruh. Later, when I start getting him busted, he say, I never said that, you know, God, he breathed wind. <laughs> okay, we go down here, he says. I said to him, oh, so ruh is a word, uh, not uh, souls. Uh, okay, so Allah, he break wind and he created Adam. And then he said, you don't have knowledge. You cannot real, you can have a real discussion. This is above your head. Ruh is in Semitic language mean wind. God can cause things in creation and he can cause things, movement in creation. That's why your Ruh is called after the wind. Man, that's good. Okay. You cannot see it, but you can see the effect just like the wind. Mm, I see. Today I will make you break wind nonstop. You believe your God is a wind before creation. Why is your God called a wind? How many spirits are there in your God? One spirit or three spirit? Now, this is Abdul is being deep now. He is like doing a, a, a Greek philosophy. One spirit, two spirit, three spirit, four spirit. You know, one plus one plus one is equal to one. What the heck is that? You know, Abdul, I mean, I never saw a Muslim. He is even honest. Never, starting from your prophet. Everybody knows that the Christian belief, the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So when you say, you believe in three spirit and one spirit, you are stupid. You know, literally, you are being stupid. You know? I mean, are you saying really that you are the same as your God in the Quran who you think that the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and the husband, Allah? <laughs> but look what you did. After we start, like, you know, answering him, he said, I never said, I never said, you know, uh, that uh, Allah, he breathed wind. I never said that. But no, you did. You said, and we go back. Look, I said to him here, let me agree with you. Allah used, uh, uh, he means souls, but he used the wrong word. You mean wind, huh? According to you, you know, uh, it's wind. Not only Allah, he said, now I'm using the word, the holy wind. I hope you're enjoying your 
own false translation no more than holy wind religion you see the Muhammadan they forgot the other God he called the will go with the Abdul now who translated the word Ruh as a wind and later he denied he said I did not say that but if we go the up we see it says it clearly he said that this is in Hebrew and in Arabic both mean wind do you see it Ruh mean winds in Hebrew and Arabic do you see it later he will deny it he will say I did not say that CP hmm? by the way if this potato he dared to call me let me uh, let me post a link he will never there he is just a you know a potato like the rest of them and yeah I don't want to forget before we continue uh, Muslim they are posting comment acting as they are Christian Christian friends I'm really disappointed if you I thought you can refute Muslims Hmm. But you are changing topic. <laughs> yeah, Abdul, you change your name. You call yourself James. You call yourself Tomato Potato. We smell Muslims from, 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 from this distance of a million miles. Nice try. So this is the link. If this Abdul dare to call me, or any Abdul dare to answer what we are saying, or who agree with this guy. So as long as Allah, he chose the word wind to speak about the spirit. I will go with that. And he is the one who made fun of a Christian prince saying, <laughs> Christian prince, your God is wind, huh? Look, Ruh mean wind in Hebrew and Arabic. Christian princes believe that his God is an eternal wind. His God is eternal movement. That's deep. That's really deep. Now, let me get you busted, Muta boy. I will show you what your prophets say that your God Allah is a wind not me we don't believe in the wind thing you are talking about if we go to your prophet hadith and now he will say to me don't use hadith you know remember the guy yesterday Abdullah don't use the Quran why you cannot answer without using the Quran because the Quran give them a big finger they don't want to see the Quran the Quran is a book of embarrassment so let us see here let me add this page hmm okay okay oh mm -hmm -hmm. all right here we go we found the hadith let us add it and now he will say i did not say you know he, he did not make fun of the wind he did not make fun of my god saying he is wind it turned to be that his god is wind read carefully and this is not me saying so this is their book. Abu Huraira said, a furious wind blow when the people were in the road to Mecca. While Umar was making Hajj, Umar asked those around him, what is the wind? Listen, Abdul, ah, now you will regret what you were making fun of. Uh -huh. Change your teeth because I broke them already. They did not give any answer. I urged my camel forward, and I cut, I cut, I cut up with, the, with him and said, I have heard that you ask about the wind. I heard the messenger of Allah, may Allah please him, bless him, and grant him peace, say, the wind is reh from the spirit, ruh of Allah. So Abdul, who is God is a spirit which is wind, my God or your God? According to your prophet, the wind we see in the street is from the Ruh of Allah. And now look what happened. As long the Quran and Islam confirm that Ruh of Allah is nothing but wind. It's just wind, you know, nothing then how Muslims can explain the word soul I don't know I have somebody is trying to join me he called himself a Krishna well I'm not interested in Krishna my friend I want we want Muslims here not Krishna take care take a hike uh, Muhammad he defined his God wind ruh as wind in total agreement with the Abdul now we have to stop 
and we will see that obviously Muhammad is an idiot and he is mixing between something can be a power made by God like wind and physical wind you know I mean the physical wind which is we see around us and the ruh uh, when we talk about ruh is it life or wind when the Quran mentioned the word ruh is he speaking about wind or life wind is not a living thing you do not need to be a genius to know wind is not a living thing the word wind we don't see it yes but it exists you know there's a gas there's invisible gas and there is visible gas so when an idiot he think that because the origin of the word mean etc he think that here in religious meaning the word ruh is a wind that is saying you that this person cannot be a prophet because now based on what Muhammad said the word is spirit and this is the Muslim translation as you see is a ruh the wind in the road is from the spirit of Allah that's mean both of them they have the same nature but the wind we see in the street is not a living being and it does not give life being moving or movement because of the nature of the wind it's not a solid thing if it's solid it will not move unless somebody push it so the wind moved actually or what we call wind because like there is many things affect that thing that that, that we call wind temperature you know uh, heat uh, the sun uh, uh, you know steam in the air etc so all of those things generate the movement but it's not the wind by itself is moving if we if we look at the wind in a room room you know if nothing move the wind will not move because something have to push it you have to create heat wave you have to create a, a physical point like pushing like you use, use a fan you know a fan is a physical object and uh, you know the edges of the fan will will can will like create a, a current of air like water it's just it's a, the wind is like a water but it is invisible it's not touchable but even when there is a strong wind we can feel it even when there is like little bit of wind we can feel it touching our skin if you go in a mud cycle if you ever use one you will see how powerful the wind in your face and you will feel even your skin will be pushed away from your face so when Muhammad he says that ruh is wind and the wind is ruh he destroyed everything the Muslims believe and because he is comparing the real wind the physical wind with something is not physical the same Abdul he copied what I said he said the word ruh is the force of life but nowhere in the Quran it says so he is copying me I ask him can you provide me the verses in the Quran it says that the spirit is the power of life he is just copying me you know we posted an article just two days ago in the previous video the Muslim they say we do not know what ruh we have this guy's name is Abdullah two days ago he said I do not know we do not know what ruh they ask you what ruh is say only Allah knows so Muslims do not know what is ruh, what ruh why because it is an additional belief added to the pagan belief of Muhammad so when we ask them what is ruh they are so confused and now I repeat my question to the Abdul do you really believe that the word ruh is the wind in the street do you really believe that the wind in the street is coming from the Spirit of Allah who dare to say I don't believe after we showed you the hadith they don't and this is a very clear proof that Muhammad do not know 
what he is talking about. There is a huge difference between the word spirit and wind. Wind is a physical object. You can even capture it. You can capture wind, don't you know? You can put it inside the balloon. <laughs> but you cannot capture ruh. You cannot capture spirit. You are stupid. So, uh, Muhammad the pagan, he was trying to take words, and he did, from the Jews. He heard the Jews. You know, this is something new for him. You see, the Muslim believe, you know, we mentioned the hadith before, where shaitan, he go inside the mouth of Adam, and then he came from his anus, because Allah, he made him from mud, as a fashion, as a statues, and then he came from his anus, and he told the angels, well, you know what, this man, there's not, nothing to worry about, because inside him, he is empty. Allah is inside him is not empty. Now, Allah inside him is not empty. Allah inside him has no spirit. Allah inside him has no wind. No problem. Then when the Quran speak about, I created Adam from my spirit. And then we compare what we see here with the comment of this Abdul, who he said, the word ruh is a word mean wind in both Hebrew and Arabic. And Allah, he calls movement by the wind. That's mean the Muslims, they believe that the word ruh is not life. It is just wind, because wind is not alive. And then when we got him busted, he says, I never said that. Wind is the force of life. Sorry, ruh is the force of life. So he changed his attitude to the word when he himself is the one who said, it is wind. And then when I showed him the verse about Allah saying the Holy Spirit, does that mean it's a holy wind? Is the holy wind is a living being? Muslims? You see, I'm going with you. I'm going with your prophet now. Your prophet says the wind, the wind, reh, is from the spirit, ruh, of Allah. Focus with me. Now, we go to the Quran. Is Jibreel a living creature based on what Muhammad just said? No. Because he is just a wind. He is just a wind. Nothing. He does not exist, actually. It's not. So how is Jibreel he talk? How Jibreel appear to Mary as a physical being, a human being, perfect man? Ah, well, typing in English. Uh, you go in the Quran, you will see that the angel, when he came to Mary, he appeared to her as a perfect man. Perfect man. I mean, this website is really stupid. You search for the sentence, it gives you all sentences. You know how to, yeah. Uh, but if the ruh is a wind. And the Muslim, they claim that Jibreel, he is a ruh. And then Jibreel, he come to Mary, and he appeared to her as a perfect man. That means Jibreel is not real. Jibreel is nothing but little wind. Appear in a false look, because wind does not have a physical shape. It was an illusion. It just just the wind and the wind is talking here you will see it says she placed chapter 19 verse number 17 she placed the screen she screened herself from them then we sent our ruh between two bracket angel jibril which means in the verse the word angel is not exist when you see it in the bracket the muslim admit that they are trying to explain the stupid quran the Quran by itself is not enough to understand. It's a stupid book. So what we sent to her, we sent to her our ruh. You see, he did not say we send a ruh. He said our ruh. That means Quran believe there's two kinds of ruh. There's ruh and our ruh. 
Our ruh is something special. However, ruh is ruh. And if we go to the hadith, we will find that the hadith says that the ruh of Allah is wind. This is the ruh of Allah, our ruh. If you have a short memory, we can go back. Uh, let us see here, where is the hadith? Here we go. The spirit of Allah, the spirit of our, our ruh. See it? The same, the same sentence. So the Muslim, they cannot say, oh, this is not different. The spirit of Allah is the wind. Then the angel Jibreel who came to Mary is nothing but a wind. And his appearance as a perfect man, as it says, he appeared before her in the form of a man in all respect, which means he is a perfect man. He's a male. He's a male. He has a male member. He have a face of a man. He have a voice of a man. He have a look of a man. He have a height, tall body as of a man. So now we, we need to ask the Muslims, when you're funny, silly, stupid Muhammad, the most obvious false prophet, he stole the word ruh. And he confirmed that the word ruh is wind. And we saw we showed you Mr. Rocky saying, yes, the word ruh in Arabic and in Hebrew mean wind. But now he don't differentiate between the wind, the word used for physical, you know, and the word ruh, which is present soul or a spirit. How you Muslims then believe that the wind is an angel? Literally an angel. You see, I can say, um, there, is, yeah, there is some words, they have many meaning, they have like metaphorical meaning and they have a physical meaning, this is true. But Muhammad, he made it clear that Ruh is wind and the wind, the spirit of Allah is wind. So now we are not, and we cannot consider the word Ruh something used for something spiritual, a spirit no more, because simply it is a wind. The wind is the ruh, and the ruh is the wind, and the ruh of Allah is a wind. And the hadith confirmed that. So now, suddenly Muhammad, he claimed that the wind of Allah, you see, I'm using the Muslim translation. I'm just replacing the word ruh now with the word wind. Rocky, he said in Arabic and in English, the word ruh is a wind. Allah, he caused things to move by wind. He caused a creation to move by wind. Wonderful. So that's mean that Jibreel is not an angel. He have the same nature of the wind in the street. If we go to the front hadith, we will find that Muhammad saying that he saw Jibreel with six hundred angels, six hundred wings, six hundred wings. Let us see. The Hadith. This is a story about Aisha playing with the, with the horse with two wings, you know. Yeah, here we go. It says here that certainly, this is Muhammad, certainly he saw uh, great signs of Allah. Quran, whatever, 18, imply that he saw Jibreel in his original form and he had 600 wings. Look, look what happened now. Jibreel, for them, is a wind. Literally wind. Remember, the hadith was talking about wind in the street. Wind in the street, not wind meaning like, okay, they are like, a, I can say, well, the angels, they are like, uh, like wind, you know, we don't see them, they are invisible and etc. So, yeah, we can see that. But here, we are talking about a physical creature, they call him Jibreel, and it says here his original form. Do you see the word original? So, how the angels, or the angel who is wind, 
His original form is 600 wings. Remember, if you are really wind, you do not need wings to carry you. Correct? When you have wings, you are going to use wind to carry you. Not the opposite. If you are a wind, there is no need for angel, for 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 uh, uh, the wings. And when Muhammad he said that he saw Jibril with six hundred wings, and this is his original form. That means Muslims are really confused about what is wind and what is angels and what is a spirit, and they do not know what they are talking about as usual. And this is the case for Muhammad. He is just a liar. He stole words. He do not know what the words mean. He just add them in his books. And as you see, all of those are very authentic hadith. The Muslim, they cannot say, it is not true. He saw Jibreel in his original image. Do you see it? And it is the Muslims who confirm that this is the original because remember, Jibreel, he came to Muhammad as a man. And he squeezed him. And according to the Muslim too, he came to Mary as a man too. Even the Quran does not say it's Jibreel. It says Ruh, our Ruh, specifically our Ruh. So here we ask the Muslims. Muhammad, he says, the, 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 the wind is the Ruh of Allah. The angels are the wind of Allah. Allah he breathed into Adam the wind of Allah. <laughs> so what is soul and what is a spirit? If we go in the Quran just to show you how stupid this man is, if we search for the word soul, we will find the Quran there is two words actually. There's word it says soul and the other one it says spirit. All those verses is speaking about soul. Soul, not spirit, soul. Then you ask yourself, if Muhammad consider the word ruh, a wind, so where he get the word soul from? Any Muslim can help us? Any Muhammadan can help us. If you go to chapter 7, verse 6, verse number 98, look what the verse is saying. It is he who has produced you from a single person. The fact, this is false translation, it says, from a single soul. Change the translator. Nafs, nafs is from breathe, breathe. This is why you cannot take Muslim translation to be true translation. Never. You cannot do that. It's impossible. They never tell the truth. They never share the truth. And they have to add things and fabricate things. Here they are saying single person Adam. Let us change the translator again. Let us see how truthful it is. I'm sure one of them, he will make a mistake and say the truth. It is a, one individual, uh, you know, uh, spirit, uh, soul. So the, there's one person who was given a soul, and the rest are just, you know, uh, a reproduction. Wait, where is the first one? Uh, single person. Let us change the front translator until we find the one which is saying the truth. Ahmad Ali. Okay. Ahmad Ali, he know the best. I know what you want more. Oh, okay. Look, 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 look. Ahmad Ali, he made a single cell. Look, what the heck? Cell now? <laughs> the word soul became cell. <laughs> And suppose you are trying to find someone is smarter. Let us see. Ahmad Raza Khan. 
Ahmad Raza Khan, he will solve the problem, brother. Let us hope so, brother. You know, Ahmad Raza Khan, what do you have for us, Ahmad Raza Khan? Aha, look at this. Finally, one Abdul, he got them busted. And it is he who has created you from a single soul. Do you see it? He created you from what? People, listen carefully. He created you from a single soul. So what is a human being? Is he a soul? Any Muslim? It says he created you from a single soul. All of you. Any Muslim is listening? Going back to the comment of the Abdul and to the Hadith of Muhammad where he said that the word wind is the spirit of Allah. So what is the word soul? Remember, the Abdul in his comment, he said that Ruh is how Allah, he created a human being. And actually the Quran says that Allah, he created Adam by breathing his Ruh, not soul. Do you see the contradiction? The only way to solve this problem, if we accept that soul, is the same word as ruh, which means spirit. But in fact, this is going to be true. Because soul and spirit is not the same thing. If we go in the Bible, we will see way higher and quality explanation for what is soul and what is spirit. You see... Uh, Let us find some verses in the Bible. Give me a second. <clears throat> Let us go. Okay, let us go here. If we read here together, you will see how and why Christianity is a true belief and Islam is just a potato. It's just a stupid idiot who do not know how to write, how to read according to Muslims, trying to make himself a prophet. This is John, chapter 4. And I advise you to read all of it, you know, because it's, a, it's very beautiful, you know, to read it will give you better meaning from reading just verses. But because we are concentrating in a topic now, we will go and read verses. So, it says here, you are worshipping what you do not know. You are worshipping what you do not know. Hey, Muslims. You are worshipping what you do not know. We know what we worship. We are worshipping for the life is of the Jews. But the hour is coming now and when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit, in the Spirit and in the truth. For the Father also is seeking such worshippers as these. For the Spirit is God. People, do you see? 
for the spirit is God. Soul is not a spirit. Muhammad is a stupid fool. He don't understand the difference. You see, when uh, when a, a person is created, God give him a soul, and God give him a body. So body plus soul, that is an animal. That is us. When the spirit of God is with you, that is a believer. So a believer is three, not one. He is a spirit, spirit of God within him. This is why we say that you get baptized with the Holy Spirit. You get received the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Spirit. So you are a soul, you are a spirit, and you are a body. Trinity. The soul is the power of life. You know, to make you a living being, moving around, eating, you know. Uh, soul and body will make a creature. The spirit of God will make this creature understanding creature, not programmed. Will make him different, will make him a human. This is why we see that people who don't have the Holy Spirit within them, they are animals in their behavior. For they consider everything around them is just an animal to take. You know, like a, a wolf, you see the other wolf eating a goat, they fight over it because both they want to eat, even though maybe the goat is too much food for them for both, still they will fight over it. Because they have a soul of an animal. They don't have a spirit of God within them. The spirit of God gives you the ethic. Give you the feeling guilty when you do something wrong. The Spirit of God make you have understanding of wrong and right. The Spirit of God preventing you from doing wrong when the Spirit of God is strong inside you, or if you decide to, don't want to listen to it. Like, let us leave the Spirit of God and decide, I want to be an animal. So, the Muhammadan, because they do not know and they don't have a spiritual belief, it's just a physical, sexual pervert belief. This is why their heaven is not a spiritual heaven. What is the spirit of God in heaven? The house of God in Islam is a place of a pimp. A Muslim person, he's holding his address in his mouth and his penis is coming out and he is ifing as many as he can, non-stop, for eternity. So they don't have a spiritual belief. They have an animal belief. They seek what animals seek. It's like, you know, when you have a cat, you know, you show her, or a dog, you know, you say, sit down. The dog, he sat down because he learned now. Each time he, he put his butt down in the ground, you give him a candy or you give him a bone. This is what the Satan is doing to Muslims. He is training them to obey him based in the bone. What is the bone? The bone is the virgins waiting for you. What is the bones? You will wear a bracelet of gold and silver, and your house will be very big. You will have 80,000 slave boys. At least, this is the lowest reward. So, Satan, he always try to subdue you by temptation. The Spirit of God always try to protect you from temptation. And it is you, because God, he gave you free will. Either you give the space for the Spirit of God to take the lead, or you decide to say, you know what, I don't want the Spirit of God in my life. I want to be an animal again. And here we see the huge difference between Christianity and Islam. In Islam, there is no really spirit. There is no spirit. See, what Christian, maybe many of them don't understand, they think when Muslim they use the same words, that means we have the same belief. As an example, most time they say Jibreel, which is close to Gabriel, right? But they don't have really Jibreel. They don't have Gabriel. They say Jesus, but they don't have, even the Quran never mentioned the word Jesus. It's Isa. We do not know who's Isa. Isa in the Quran is the son of a, of a, of a, 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 a woman. Her name is Mary, Mar Maryam, right? But this Maryam is a sister of a guy. His name is Aaron, and his name is, uh, the other brother, his name is Moses, and her father is Amran. 
But Umran is the father of Musa. So we have an idiot who is totally illiterate, as the Muslim they say. Illiterate about God, illiterate about uh, 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 spirituality, illiterate about angels, illiterate about the nature of God. And now he is trying to hijack from the Christians some of their belief. And he embedded the Christian words in his book. But by doing so, he brought destruction for his stupidity. And now we are exposing it today. Do we agree? So I want I want Christian to remember a thing here, that uh, you, you know a Muslim he tried to say uh, oh the word in the original Hebrew mean this, no problem, but always there is a word have a meaning, and the meaning sometimes has nothing to do with the original. It has nothing to do with the original. Because we as a Christian, we don't believe that the word spirit is a wind. Not literally. The power of God is God. Because God without his power, he doesn't exist. He's not God anymore. I mean, what makes God is God. He has the power to be called Almighty. Almighty is a power which is ultimate power nobody have it nobody can destroy it nobody can stop it nobody can you know deny it nobody can come over it so god he get his description based in his ability not is just as poetry i can make a woman who look scary i can say she is she is sexy and you know it you know but i mean i might mean the opposite don't be offended by the way i'm just giving a meaning I can say the same about me, you know, like he is sexy and you know it, but I look scary. So uh, I might even say something sound good, but I'm being sarcastic, not even saying that. So yes, words can have different meaning. But when we speak about the spirit of God, the Bible makes it so clear. The spirit of God is the spirit and in the truth they worship him in the spirit and in the truth which means there is false spirit spirit is a, just an open word anyone can use it anyone can claim it the same as Muhammad did but there is a spirit which is worshipped in truth Do we have any Muhammadan have any comment? Any Muslim? And look how beautiful this chapter. One chapter made things clean, clear to us. Just one. We did not read the whole Bible yet. But when you go and read the Quran, you will get dizzy. It's just so stupid. You know, you search in Google, what is a spirit? They don't know. Allah knows best. We have no idea because simply this is something he stole from other belief. It's not his belief. He have nothing to do with it. Those are pagan Arab who worship Allah, who have three daughters. And Allah is a pagan idol. What is spirit? You ask Muslims, is, is Allah is a spirit? They will say no. Do we have a spirit? No. So who is he? They don't know. Not a single Muhammadan knew what is Allah. And you know, when the Quran says that Allah, he breathed, he breathed into Adam from his spirit. Hmm? Why he need to do so? Isn't it, this is a good question? You see, if he is not a spirit, and if the spirit is not him, and, and not even from him, yet he called it my spirit. And the funny, he called it our spirit, not mine. Uh, 
Uh, if we go to find this one. If you go to chapter 4, verse 171, Muhammad supposedly now he's trying to get the Christian busted. Eh, Muhammad is, you know, working hard to get the Christian busted. Look what he said. The people of the scriptures, and here you see Muhammad again, he admit that he is a fraud by saying, O oh, people of the scriptures, hey Christians, do you know who you are? You are truly the people of the scriptures. Muslims are not. They don't have a scriptures. Even the enemy, the Antichrist, Muhammad, he admit, do not ex exceed the limit of your religion, nor say Allah ought, but the truth. The Messiah, he said, between two brackets, Jesus, this is a false Jesus, son of Maryam, he is Maryam, she is the sister of Aaron, as you remember, which is a stupid. It says here, he is a messenger, in Muslim, they add the word, no more, no problem. <clears throat> He is a messenger, and he is the word of Allah. The stupid Muhammad, he went to John, chapter 1, verse number 1, and verse number 14. He copied them, he put them here. So what is Jesus? He is a messenger, okay, he's a man. We got it. What else? He is the word. He is not a word, he is his word. What does that mean? There's a difference between is a word and his word? Yeah. There is. His word is something belong specifically to a person. And that word is you. So am I saying my word is different from saying a word because many they talk. Many they can make words. Human can make words. Even animals, they have their own languages. So the Messiah is not a word. He is his word. The Muslim now, they are trying to fix it. So they say, be, and he was. But nowhere in the Quran it says that. In this sentence here, in this verse, they added. But this is alone, again, proving that Muhammad is a fraud. Because Allah did not create Jesus by saying, be, and he was. We just showed you the, the chapter 19. It says that Allah, he breathed into Mary. He breathed into Mary vagina, actually. So what do you mean be he was? And here, actually, we will have another problem with this stupid religion. But we will go back to it to talk about how Jesus is created according to Islam. We will find that it's not Allah who created Jesus. It was Jibreel. I'm telling you, this is a stupid. Is a, this religion is a stupid, sick, dummy, you know, chicken, potato, tomato. You never know what this guy is talking about. We ask the Muslims, who is the one who created everything? They say to you, Allah. We go and read the Quran and read the interpretation. We will find it is Jibreel. It is Jibreel. Who created Adam? They say Allah. We go to the Quran. We read we find it is Jibreel, not Allah. You know, let me show you this. Hold on, give me a second. Maybe you maybe you forgot the article we showed you from the Islamic official website. I mean, Arabic, give me a second. Read with me and die laughing. I don't want you to die. You see, this is a word. It means die laughing. I mean, it says die laughing, but I'm not. I don't mean it for sure. This is an example of how the word can be uh, having different meaning. So look at this here. This is an article. A Muslim man is asking. A Muslim man asking, not me. How in the world? Please explain. Please explain. Let me wait for you on the screen. Give me a second.
please explain about Allah breathing of his soul into Adam and the angels the breed of life into us what people can you believe what we are reading who is the one who give us life it turned to be the angels but isn't it life his everything and if the angels are the one who breathe life so what Allah he did when he breathed into Adam was he an angel too if I say I heard somebody you people you might say there's no way this is not true Hey, the Muslim will never. You can search the article. You see the name? Here we go. Please explain how about Allah breathing his soul into Adam. Search it in Google. You will find the website. Later, you might be watching the website, uh, this video after many years. So it's easy to find it. And then here it says, regarding this, the, the, answer, the answer, look at the answer. You require whatever, you know, it's, uh, reverting to your uh, uh, query about Allah and the angels a breathing soul can you believe it the scholars agree that Allah and the angels breathing the soul okay hold on it turned to be that Allah and angels they do the same action do you see it be my witness who create in Islam Allah or the angels if we ask the Muslims when Adam was created is creating the mud is a creation really I mean like making a fashion of a mud they will say no when Allah he breathed into him that is the living Adam that is a human being creation but now we see that a human being created by according to them now in this website Allah and the angels in fact no in fact the Quran confirmed it was the angels exclusively Allah have nothing to do with it why we just finished reading the Muslim comment saying that the word Ruh is a wind is that correct yes let us connect the, the dots what was the word wind is Ruh correct okay did Muhammad say when they ask him about uh, wind what is wind he says wind is uh, is the ruh of Allah if you read with me in this hadith here you will see and this is a sahih hadith you know sahih they can't say it's weak uh, all this hadith is about the soul of a human being the soul of a human being in Islam is physical. Read carefully. Allah will take the soul of the human and He will throw it down on the ground. And then is going to be restored to his body. And then two angels will come and they will start asking him questions. You know, three questions and they will hit him with the hammer. You remember the story, you know? Like we can show it in different hadith from this one. The soul in Islam, as you see, is a physical being to be tortured it is not the power of life because you are taking the soul and throwing it in the ground and now you are going to torture the soul and the body if we go to the hadith 
when Muhammad he explained that the wind reh, is from the spirit of Allah we ask the Muslims who is the Holy Spirit they say Jibreel okay is the spirit of Allah is holy who is a Muslim there to say no the Muslims is the spirit of Allah is holy It says to you, from the Spirit of Allah. You see, if I take something from the Spirit of Allah, isn't it going to be having the same nature of that Spirit? You know what I mean? If I take a cup of water from a bottle of water, isn't it the cup of water have the same water from the bottle? So, wind is a physical structure, gas, Allah, spirit, is a physical structure. Is this what it says? It is Muhammad who is confirming that the wind we see in the street or, you know, when turn the fan on or air conditioned and you know, moving wind, that is nothing but the spirit of Allah. Wonderful. Then who is Jibreel? And how the Muslim website saying that the angels they breathe life. And how wind is life? Is wind life? It is so clear that this cult do not even understand what life is about. And this is not metaphorical. You see, they are confirming Allah and the angels are breathing the soul. Allah Ta'ala tells us in the Quran, they ask you about, uh, between two brackets, the reality of ruh. And now you see, in a speed of light, the Muslim, they, they switch the word ruh into soul. Do you see it? Suddenly the word ruh is a soul. Tell them, the soul is from the order of my Lord. What do you mean the order? Shouldn't be from the breed of my Lord? The reality of the soul and how it come into uh, us is beyond our understanding. Here we go, now we solve the problem. And here you ask yourself, if this is beyond our understanding, so why the Quran says he breathe. Correct? You see, you go to the Bible, you will see it says God, he breathe. Yes, he breathe. So what do you mean beyond our understanding? The word breathe is used for a reason. So we can understand. The Muhammadan they have their own way to understand things because they have a foolish prophet and they try to manage with his foolishness. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. If you remember, let us switch to Arabic. English. There's a verse in the Quran that says, uh, oh, sorry, I'm typing wrong. It says that a human being was ever hasty. This verse doesn't mean anything, doesn't make sense. What the heck is that? Chapter 17, verse number 11. You go to Ibn Kathir, you will find that when Allah, he breathed his soul into Adam. Let us go there. Are we learning? Everything is good? God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. 
So here Ibn Kathir, this is not me Muslims, don't tell me Christian prince, he said, you know, like, uh, you know, okay, uh, you know, this is not true, uh, you know, like, uh, this is 11 actually, number 11, hold on. Uh, 